Blessings and peace, and welcome to an order of Compline. Today is Thursday, September 24th, 2020, and my name's Brother Les Roberts with Trinity Episcopal Church in Elk Ridge, Maryland. And either myself or Chris Paul will hold an order of Compline each night, Monday through Friday, 8.30 p.m., and either Archdeacon Frank or Mother Anne will do a morning prayer service at 8.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. We'll get started in just one minute. Um, we'll be on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. And if you don't have a Book of Common Prayer, you can go to bcponline.org, go to the Table of Contents, select the Daily Offices, and then select the last one, which is called An Order of Compline. We'll get started in just one minute. The Lord Almighty grants us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, in word, in deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening will be Psalm 4, which can be found on page 128. Answer me when I call, O God, my defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me, and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long have you? will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wondrous for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then, and do not sin. Speak to the heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices, and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the book of Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Continuing on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, 
for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Continuing on page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who watch, who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, I ask for your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving either silently or loud, or you may type it into the chat boxes on Facebook. This evening, I'd like to say a prayer um, for one of my DOV um, classmates. Um, his name is Derek Miller. He is going for his um, candidacy interviews with the bishop this weekend um, for... for um, ordination towards the um, priesthood. So for Derek and also for all of the members of my DOV class who are in various stages, some are in deacon formation program and some are in seminary and some are um, getting their affairs in order before they go to seminary next fall. But I'd like to say a prayer for the choice fit of persons for the ministry. O oh God, you led your holy apostles to adorn, ordain ministers in every place. Grant that your church, under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, may choose suitable persons for the ministry of word and sacrament, and may uphold them in their work for the extension of your kingdom. Through him who is the shepherd and bishop of all our souls, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. I'd like to say a prayer, especially for Derek Miller, for, for his um, candidate interviews. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with Derek as he continues on his journey towards his ministry to become ordained as a priest in your holy church. We ask that you give him strength and courage to go through this and if it is your will we ask that you grant him candidacy we ask all this in Christ's name Amen I'd like to say a prayer for social justice Almighty God who created us in your own image grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil to make no peace with oppression and that we may reverently use our freedom to help us to employ into the maintenance of justice in our communities and among the nations. To the glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. like to say a prayer for those we love. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never-failing care and love for this life and this life to come, knowing that you are doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd also like to say a prayer for all those who are affected in any way by the coronavirus. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you be with all those, give your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by, by the outbreak of the coronavirus. We ask that you comfort and sustain those who have been stricken relieve their pain, and restore them to gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical prof professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that is through their sacrifice and service 
that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept our prayers, O God, of all comfort and our only help in time of need. Amen. Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with all of your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ in whom with all intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Returning back to page... Um, 134 guide us waking O Lord and guard us sleeping that awaken that awake who watch in Christ and asleep we may rest in peace Lord you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior with whom you have prepared all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Well, thank you for joining me this evening for this order of conference. Um, either myself or Chris Paul will hold this each night, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Neither Mother Anne or Archdeacon Frank will hold a morning prayer service or a morning prayer reflection at 8.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. We ask God be with you and keep you this evening. Amen.